Hello, everybody. Where? Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. These are the guards from Marcelin. They are. That sounded way too human. Oh wow, you are one ugly son of a gun. I do not understand. This creature's heart, I cannot read it. I can sense the feelings of every beast, every monster. But from this one, nothing. Holy moly. Still. My task remaineth the same. Thou hast taken people from us, and we shall have them back. Look at Linda, she is literally not playing games with this thing. Okay. If thou art oh, ready, goodness. then so am I. You are literally not. Ugh. Let in the right. hunt Let's begin. Rain and arrows up on. What to do? Heart, it's gonna start shifting crap all over the place. The winds of fortune are howling. An interesting dilemma. Lux comes your ear. But when I did that last time, it wasn't his weakness. Well then. So that he just got that. Ah! What next? Done my bidding. <laughs> Letting the hunt begin. Nah, we're not having none of that now. Wake up. Using this. Let's try this. Oh, uh, uh. star, fill us with power. She's going to be my Sayora Buffer. Let the hunt begin. Using this. Go. Here I go. Stay your 
No, 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 baby, let's go. No, 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 no. What to do? I won't hold back. I summon Wilhelm the Warrior. You tell the truth as a begin. Lux, come your ear. Holding back nothing. Using this. Come in, if thou darest. Yeah. Holding back nothing. Rain and arrows up on them. If Hana wasn't able to kill that thing if she had to 1v1 it, <laughs> that would have took it way too long. What? What evil is this? Doth this mean the curse is lifted? Yeah. The devil take ye, monster! Huh? Huh? Hmm? I, I can move again. I am saved. The beast is slain. But, but how? how? By your hand? Not, Not so. just I. The city guard and the knights are done. We fought as one. Oh. Swoons! I can taste the air again. Look, I am flesh and blood. <laughs> we oh. are saved. <laughs> I mean, wondrous dead. well. How can we thank you for this miracle? No, thou needest not. I had cause of my own to slay the beast. But if thou wilt show in thanks, leave us this place and take thy men back home to their king. His majesty waiteth anxiously for good tidings. Then Understood. I will not tarry one moment. By your leave, my lady. Ah, hey, you bums, get out of here before we die again. Yeah, we're not going to agree with that. Let's get out of here. Excellent. The curse is broken, but hath master been saved? My fellows, Hanit the Huntress, Slayer of Red Eye, has returned! General Lenar tells me of your exploits. You have slain the menace. The menace is vanquished. You saved my poor men and our city. You are our savior, and we are forever in your debt. 
What I did was for my own avail. Perhaps so, Huntress. Yet grateful we remain. Right. I would like to propose a banquet in your honor. But alas, I divine that you will not tarry here with us. I cannot, Highness. I must see with mine own eyes if my master hath been freed from the curse. Let's go. Of course. General Lenar. Sire. My men are ready to escort the Huntress at your command. Hmm? I informed King Kalim of your circumstances. He ordered preparations be made in advance. You fought the Red Eye to bring your master to life. My soldiers recovered the instant it was slain. Pray, go to his side at once. Thank you, Your Highness. Think nothing of it, but perhaps when your quest is done, you would grace us with your presence once more. And then we may throw the banquet you deserve. You honor me. I hope that day shall come soon. Oh. Is it time for more? <laughs> Not far now. What was that? God's mercy! What is that fiend? <gasps> Come, Linda, with me. Oh. What is that? That's a big old tiger. Look out! If thou art here, then... What ho, Hunnett! <clears throat> Don't tell me thou's grown again! Not in height, Master. But if thou speakest of experience, then yes. Ah, that must be it. Hope I didn't cause thee too much trouble. Some, Master. And I was worried for a spell. Thou were? Then I guess I owe thee an apology. Thou certainly dost. Stay, my dear. That was thy cue to say, not at all. And not just to me, to Natalia, Susanna, and Eliza as well. You had us all worried. That's a long list, but no matter. Rest assured, I'll make an apology to each and every one. And then I shall thank them, them too, for good measure. Thou dost not. Hunnet, thank thee. Thou's done me proud. Did he just pick up a grown woman with one arm? <sighs> Blushing, aren't we? Perhaps thou's not grown that much after all. Uh, and thou clearly hast learnest nothing from this misadventure. Oh, a man my age hath learned all the things he ever will, I'm afraid. How strong is this dude? Literally just scooped her. Begging your pardon, sir. We just wanted to thank you. Oh, quite. Think nothing of it. Art thou hurt? Nothing that won't mend soon enough, by your grace, sir. Good to hear it. So, where were we? 
Ah, yes. Thou were about to tell me of thine adventures. It's a long story. Wouldst thou hear in it all? Every last word. The journey I had taken was but a short episode in my life. But I would come in to tell him the tale of it many times in the years to come in. For the first time as a hunter, I found a story that was mine alone. It was my first story, but not my last. But those are tales for another day. And so I end my story here. Thou canst always come to our village to hear in it again. Though I warn you, it may not be the same with every telling. Hmm. All right. Look at Hagen. <laughs> Look at Linda. <laughs> Hagen's like, yeah, I got a bone. <laughs> well, all right. That one was, um... You know? Oh. Why, fresh baked bread. Mm-mm, delicious. A crunchy crust, a soft doughy inside, and at the center of all, a dollop of wild strawberry jam. Gosh, honey, these are rather tasty. I am happy that they please in thee. I make it, it make it the effort worthwhile. Wait, you made these? Thou needest not looking so surprised. I was given a jar of rose hip and strawberry jam. Then I asked the local tavern keeper if I might borrow his oven. Just but the work of a morning. I wish I knew how to bake, and the church is nothing but porridge and tack most days. I could teach in thee, if thou wishest. Truly, but well, that would be splendid. What do you call this particular confection? Sweet dough, tis a popular treat in mine home village. Frankly, I would have never expected you to be such a good cook. Wherefore, uh, thinkest thou, oh crap, hunters spend long days and nights out in the woods, and behooving us to know how to prepare meals, lest we starve there. Needs must, eh? Well, as my professor always said, necessity is the greatest teacher. Necessity, yes. Yet it pleased me even more to other find my cooking agreeable. Perhaps next time I catch some game, I could make in a stew, seasoned with forest herbs, with wild turnips on the side, and an applesauce, and I think I just found a new calling. <laughs> All right, I need to switch out party members. Uh, who's next? Alvin. If the sounds of my chair isn't bad enough, I have to, you know, forget to turn that off. Alright, so give him the captain's badge, badge of friendship. Three's already at level forty. Uh, where's he at? Oh, hmm. 
do I do? 20 minutes and then start off on a whole new fresh chapter? I think I might do that just to make sure everybody flows in correctly. So we'll end the episode here, guys. We will see Alfin tomorrow for your weekend video. If you guys would like to see more, make sure you subscribe for more content. You guys uh, should also see another video that popped up alongside this one. You know? Um, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, let me know how you guys like that video. And uh, let me know if you guys like this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day um, you know stick around there's a lot there's a lot more to come you can trust me there's a lot more to come thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys tomorrow see you later